doing? So welcome to this week's One Image My Edit and in this week's edit I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful noir preset that is a brilliant brilliant way to create dramatic black and white pictures and you can use this for portraits you can use this for pretty much any image that you want but I find that this works really really well with portraits you can see it gives a really dramatic look it gives a really nice matte effect and uh, yeah it works really really well so I'm going to reset this and walk you through the process okay so starting at the top I'm actually gonna click on the black and white option at the top there so we can start on the black and white and this gives us a really good base to start with so I'm going to increase the color temperature to plus 25 and I'm also going to add a little bit of tint to this as well. There we go. So plus 20 is quite good for this. I'm going to bring the exposure down a little bit because this is quite a bright image. So I'm just going to bring this down probably to about there. So that's 0 0.30. That's quite good. That's enough. It's just taken off that highlight sting that's on there. I'm going to make this quite a contrasting image as well because I like contrasting images. If you're not that keen on your images being contrasty, then just keep this a little bit lower, around 40 will do. But I'm pushing this to plus 50. And to go on to the, the main aspect here in, this, uh, in the basics panel where the highlight shadows are. So I'm just going to bring the highlights down. Again, it's because this is a, a natural light portrait and there's a lot of light coming in so depending on your image you'll have to vary this as well so i'm bringing this particular one down to minus 55 there we go you can see that's starting to to work a lot better now it's starting to look a little bit more uh a little bit more natural so let's bring the shadows down as well so i'm going to bring them down to around minus 41 40 i think that works that looks really good okay so moving on I'm gonna to go to the texture clarity and dehaze the texture I am going to push that up to about plus 12 just a little bit it's just to add a little bit of texture to it and same with the clarity and dehaze the clarity I'm gonna push that up a little bit higher to around plus 15 and I'm also just gonna add a little bit to around plus 5 of dehaze you can see what that does there. It just brings in that background and just darkens it a little bit for us. So moving on to the tone curve here, we're gonna do quite a bit of work here. And this is where the majority of the the, the feel of the shot is gonna is gonna be uh, made. So I'm gonna make three points. And there we go. So I just made three points in the middle there. And I'm gonna make another point here and I'm going to bring the blacks up. I'm going to bring them right up. And what this is going to do is help us matte off that image. Now I could actually bring this up a little bit higher. So around there. So we actually start to get a real heavy matte to them blacks. And I just want to make sure that this point is on that crossover hair here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So we follow it up and then let's make another point here and I'm just going to bring this down a little bit just a smidgen here maybe just bring these middle points down there we go and then we move up and we've got the whites you can see there so I'm going to bring the whites down a little bit make another selection and just bring that down to around there that looks pretty good. So it's quite a dramatic adjustment. You want to spend some time with this, just trying to smooth it out. You can move these points as well, and just trying to trying to get a transition where it's not as as jagged. So take your time doing that. Okay. So let's move on to the actual colours, and with this, I'm going to just create um, a bit of a a bit of a steep S curve, so to speak. So I'm going to make a point there, a point there, and a point there. So the, the, the whites, the blacks, and the greys. And I'm going to bring this down here. So we're trying to get a real steep curve within that. So it leads up to our midpoint. And then if we look at the 
top here. I'm just going to bring that up to around there. So that's quite a steep S curve then. That's going to give us a nice bit of contrast. So let's copy this setting. So right click, copy channel settings. And let's go to the green, right click and paste channel settings. There we go. And then let's do the same onto the blue. So right click, paste channel settings. And there we go. So you can see all the colors are now corrected. There's no color cast to this, but it's just given us a real nice um, contrast to each of the images, uh, each of the colors rather. So if we look at the before and after on that, it, you can see we've made a real dramatic difference within the shot and created that, that lovely mood to the image. So let's move on to the um, black and white mix so we can actually play around with these colors. So I'm going to bring the reds down to about minus six. The oranges, I'm just going to boost that up a little bit to around plus two, plus three. That looks good. Yellows, I'm going to take that out a little bit to minus 31, 30, around there. And these just to do with the skin tones, really. The greens, I'm going to bring them down to minus 22. Around there, 22, 23, that looks pretty good. And then the aquas, I'm going to bring these down to minus 20. 526 <clears throat> blue let's bring this down <clears throat> about minus 40 that looks pretty good 41 a little bit of purple into the shot plus five and then take some of the magenta out minus 20 around there that looks pretty good so that's looking that's looking okay so let's come down and sharpen the image a little bit so i'm going to push this up to about plus 30 leave it on one for the radius that's one pixel detail i'm going to push that up to 50 and masking i'm going to leave it as it is because i want the whole image to be sharpened um, because of the amount of work we've just done within the curve tool there okay so let's come down and uh, add a vignette to this so make sure we're on highlight priority here let's bring the amount down to about minus 13 midpoint let's bring that to around 33 32 roundness let's bring that to minus 9 minus 10 that looks pretty good that works well for this image there we go feather it off a little bit so 53 and then i'm going to push these highlights all the way to 100 Okay, um, so let's come back up to the top of the image. And now what we can do is just look over some of the settings that we've got and just tweak these now. So let's have a look at the exposure. So I'm gonna bring that actually to minus 0 0.25. And same with these highlights, we can, we can just really start tweaking these numbers and just see what works best for our image overall and you can uh, maybe now look at the blacks and the whites because there is a little bit of um, a little bit of white in there so I think I'll just bring that down we could check that and hold the option key down just to make sure we're not overexposing anywhere which we're not we're not overexposing at all but we could bring that down a little bit um, and the blacks maybe just drop them down a little bit too so I think about there so yeah, minus 11, minus six on there. That looks pretty good. Okay, that's the majority of the treatment done actually. Um, so what I would do now with this particular image is just work on the eyes a little bit. We need to bring out some detail there because they're quite dark now. So let's go to the brush tool. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure um, flow is sort of midpoint, density is midpoint, feather is 100 and I'm just going to click on the pupils. There we go. Take the overlay away so I can actually see what I'm doing. Push the exposure up. Push the shadows up. Push the highlights up. Push the contrast up as well. Maybe a little bit of texture and a little bit of clarity there. There we go. So that looks good. So I'm going to create another mask. Again, using the brush tool. And this time I'm going to select 
the sort of just the tips of the tops of the eyes there where the eyelashes are and the whites of the eye there so again just doing that here There we go. So let's take the overlay off. And this time I'm just going to go to the shadows and just boost them up. Let's see what happens if we push the exposure up. That's good. There we go. Just bring that exposure down a little bit and maybe add a little bit of contrast. There we go. So if we, yeah, if we look at that, let's have a look at the the masks you can see what they're doing there so the pupils is obviously the uh, the most in most impactful one you can see it just gives us them catch lights in the bottom of the eyes and then just brightening the rest of the eye I think we could probably with this one just bring that exposure down a little bit because I don't want to brighten them too much we still need some contrast there there we go that's enough Okay, so press enter on that. And then let's have a look at the image. So that is the final result. So if I press the Y key, you can see what we've done there. We've really given this a, a dramatic edit and, and made it very, very moody. We could, um, the, the next step would be to maybe treat the skin. So we could create another mask using the brush tool and just select the skin there. And we could just bring some of the clarity down on the skin just to smooth it out a little bit. Um, you will you will find with this particular edit that it causes quite a bit of contrast um, within the image. And it can kind of make the skin look a little bit greasy. But that's just, that's just to do with the colors and the way that this kind of edit works. So don't worry too much about it. But if, you, if you're doing portraits like this then really you want to be doing frequency separation um, within Photoshop so let's just take that overlay off we can just maybe just treat the skin a little bit separately so we could just look and see what see what's happening there the shadows and the highlights there we go and let's just bring the texture down a little bit and the clarity and the dehaze will will help as well with a little bit of that structure of that face so we could push that up a, or pull it down a little bit there we go that's helped <clears throat> excuse me so let's have a look at that yeah that looks pretty good so we put this full frame you can see there we created a a really nice noir kind of style image and um yeah it looks really really creative and it can add a lot of drama to your images so i hope you've enjoyed that um, yeah, take your time with this. Just really play around with these settings and also the tone curve. Just come back here and, and tweak this. Um, for instance, this particular image, I would I would be coming back in here and just working some of these points and just seeing um, how I can just really refine this. Like I might want to just introduce a little bit more shadows there around the around the cheek, uh, just to add a little bit more contrast to the whole shot. But that's pretty much how you do it. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video.